Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's Nemesis. For those of y'all watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people that need it. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. Um, if you need to talk, if you need a vent, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, make sure y'all send me a... Uh, you know, make sure you book a session and make sure you send me an email if the time or day is not presented that you desire. That way I can still get you scheduled. Uh, if you want to donate to the channel, the link is down below in the description. Make sure y'all go check out my new single love machine. It is out on all platforms and it's also available here on the channel. It's an upbeat pop song. I think y'all will love it. Make sure y'all leave me some critique, leave me a review, send it to a friend, do all that good stuff really help me process that track and push it out thank you and um today i wanted to talk to y'all about they know exactly what they are doing a lot of y'all think that just because you know somebody has a mental disorder or just some just because somebody has trauma or just because uh you know, they have uh, childhood issues, whatever the thing is, we think that they don't know what they're doing because it's, con it's, uh, it's considered a mental disorder. And I'm here to tell you, narcissists know very well what they are doing. As a matter of fact, it is calculated and orchestrated. They know exactly what they are doing. So a lot of times we be feeling sorry for these individuals because you know, they may have um, been through something. They may have a, a bad mom, a bad dad, or a, let's say they were abandoned as a child, adopted, whatever the case is. We think that they don't know what they are doing. And I am here to tell you, everything that they do to you is orchestrated and it's calculated. They pick the time and the place to do these things to you. This is why I tell y'all, y'all need to get up and heal because this is like we go back and forth thinking, oh, well, maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't understand. Maybe they'll get it. Maybe they'll maybe you should shut the fuck up because you keep trying to be understanding and keep trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. And they keep showing you why you shouldn't. Because a lot of times they hit you with the, oh, I'm going to do better next time. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. And at the same time, they're showing you no effort. They still been doing the same shit over. And, they've been lying over and over again. They've been cheating over and over again. They've been gaslighting over and over again. Blame shifting over and over again. Uh, projecting over and over again. And you keep giving them more chances to do so. You cannot continue to do this because, like I said yesterday, when you live in la-la land, when you live in delusion, you make it okay by telling yourself, oh, well, they don't know what they're doing. They, they, you know, they, they've been through so much. They, you know, they, they got abandoned. They're adopted. They're X, Y, and Z. And you keep giving them the benefit of the doubt and you keep holding the door open for them to keep abusing you. That is not an excuse for them to keep abusing you. And like I say, when you live in delusion, you get to pick the rules. So you get to say what's okay and what's not okay and what passes and what doesn't pass. And a lot of times when you're living in delusion, that only benefits you. And in actuality, you think it's only benefiting you. It's actually destroying you because you're telling yourself, that behaviors that are unacceptable are okay because X, Y, and Z. And the narcissist does the same exact thing. That's why they are able to do these things to you with no conscience, with no, <clears throat> with no um, second thought, without any empathy, because in their mind, they've already convinced themselves that what they do to you is okay. Cheating on you is okay. Lying to you is okay because X, Y, and Z. There is always a but or a because behind everything because they have rationalized in their head to treat you that way that it's okay. They know 
what they're doing. The thing is, narcissists' biggest, uh, one of their biggest kryptonite is shame. They don't like feeling shame. So to alleviate themselves from the feeling of shame, they have to convince themselves that what they're doing, done, and will do is okay. And like I say, a lot of times we do this same stupid shit. We know we should have been left them. We know uh, they cheated. We know they've been with somebody else. You know, they got somebody else's germs and fluids all on them and in them and all that shit. And you still will find a reason in your mind to make it okay to continue dealing with them. You still will find a reason to make it okay that your uh, family didn't give you their blessing, that your friends didn't give you their blessing, the church didn't. Um, their family sometimes been warning you, hey man, I wouldn't, wouldn't do that, wouldn't do that. And you still go do it anyway because you have it in your mind. Oh, well, they don't know what they're doing. Nobody understands them but me. I'm the only person that gets them. They need me. They blah, 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 and all that bullshit there. So you rationalize what they do. Not only what they do, but what you put up with. You rationalize both of them because, like I said, in your head, you get to make the rules when you live in delusion. So you get to say what's okay, you get to say what's not okay according to your preference, according to how you're feeling at the moment, you get to make those rules. When you come out of delusion, those issues are not only there, they have grown because of the delusion that has allowed these things and behaviors to manifest, that allowed them to exist, that allowed them to grow and that allowed them to be acceptable. So you you cannot keep using this. They don't know what they're doing. Bullshit. They know exactly what they're doing. You were targeted. You were plotted against. You were orchestrated against. You were plotted against. All of this is systematic abuse and it is put together purposely. They plan on when to triangulate you with somebody. They plan on when. Uh, they leave their phone open so you can see some shit so you can get all riled up. They plan on, uh, let's say you overhear them. They mention somebody else's name in an argument or in their sleep or during sex. They will do that shit on purpose to fuck with you. They will do that on purpose just to get you into an argument so they can go off and do whatever they want to with it. When <laughs> I can't even talk with who they want to. They will start some shit with you just to get free for the night. Go do whatever they want with whoever they want. Come back full of fluids and shit and all kind of shit on them. And they will come right back to you and, oh, well, I finally get what I did. I understand where you're coming from. Blah, 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 blippity, blah, 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 all that bullshit. And <clears throat> you, because you don't rationalize, oh, they don't know what they're doing, whatever, whatever. You take they fluid field as right back. I'm sorry, but once somebody else has been in you, on you, or you didn't, whatever, I don't want you. Some of y'all are still taking these individuals back. Fellas, somebody else has been in that lady's cat or in her mouth, let her go. Same thing for ladies, but I'm speaking specifically on fellas right now because we don't have that many voices in the community to express without being shamed. Or, or without looking at being looked at as misogynistic, this bullshit ass word y'all made up and toxic masculine and all that other uh, creative bullshit that, that have been put out into society. Somebody else been in that lady, get away. Stay away. Stop rationalizing that shit. You, you put up with it because you think you can't do better. Get your thick ass in the gym grow you a fucking beard, grow you a set, and leave that fucking lady alone. Go to therapy, fix yourself, build yourself up. Ain't no cat that fat and ain't no titty that round for you to be taking somebody back after that shit. Ladies, the same fucking thing, but like I said, I'm speaking to my fellas because we don't get to speak like that because it's always somebody saying, but y'all, or men do this, to we not talking about that right now. But anyway, Stop rationalizing what the fuck they do because you figure in your mind, in your delusion, in your foolishness, 
that they don't know what the fuck they're doing. You think they don't know what the fuck they're doing because it'll make you feel better if they didn't know what they were doing. You want the truth to be they didn't know what they were doing because it'll make you feel better about putting up with that shit and it'll make you feel less foolish. You would like them, you would like the truth to be that they think they don't know what they're doing because that'll make you feel better about your decision making. That'll make you feel less accountable for dealing with they shit. And on this channel, you will be held accountable. I don't give a fuck how you feel because we gonna hold each other accountable and we gonna hold them motherfuckers accountable too. Some of this shit is on you because you have poor decision making. You think with your feelings and you will pay every time when you think with your feelings. That's not what the fuck they're made for. Stop thinking they don't know what they are doing manipulation is a real thing manipulation is a art manipulation is true it's a real thing it's not a fairy tale it's not folklore it's not a, a gingerbread fucking crumb in the forest it, it's it's fucking real and understand they have some people that are so fucked up on the inside that they go around destroying other people so that they can feel like they feel on the inside. They have other people that have been through shit and will fuck you up in the process because they don't know healthy. They don't know therapy. They don't know um, healing. They don't know common sense. They don't know love. They think their version of love is what's given to them, not what they can uh, reciprocate. These individuals know this shit. Stop giving them passes while they kick y'all's asses. Cut it out. And stay your ass off they social media. You keep going on there, you're going to find what the fuck you're looking for. And you're going to end up calling me, so I didn't listen. I know you didn't. What he done did? What she done did? Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure if you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need a talk, if you need an event, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, make sure y'all give me a holler in the comments. Not in the comments, the video description. I'm sorry. If you don't see the time or date that's beneficial for you, make sure you send me an email. Let's get you booked. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is down below in the description. If, like I said, if you want to... I'm sorry, my latest single, uh, Love Machine, oh, my bad. I just came from the gym, so I'm like, Love Machine is out now on all streaming platforms. It's also available here on the channel as well. Y'all make sure y'all go leave me some critique, leave a review. Let me know what you think. Send it to a friend, share it, do all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And until next time, another day, another way. And you ain't got to listen, but I know you heard me.